Hi, my name is Olaolu Aolani Itimoti. I'm a graduate of mechanical engineering from the Federal University of Technology, Accra. Um, this year's January, I was, I began working with navigating with, with Noel as a content writer. So I want to share some of the things that I've learned and I want to share my testimony also as, a, as the content writer. Now, within the period of six months, it will be very difficult for me to quantify some of the things that I've learned. And for me as a content writer, it meant that I needed to do a lot of research to, to go online, look for topics that are relevant for youths like myself. And, you know, even topics that, are, that cut across different aspects of life from career to relationship and, and many other things. And working as a content writer for NWN, it pushed me beyond the limits of my ability. Normally as a writer, I only write about generic uh, topics and you know, it's more of a freestyle thing. But with NWN, it was structured. There is, each month there is a particular theme that we consider. And that means whatever I want to write for that particular month, it has to be structured. It has to be consistent with the theme for the month. So now that helped me, you know, in, in structuring my writing better. And in the process of writing, of trying to communicate a message to the community, I was actually speaking to myself also. And recently, I, I had an interview with a bank and, you know, during the interview, some of the questions that they asked me were, it was unusual questions, random questions. And the answers that I gave were answers that I didn't even know it was in me. It was because of the fact that I have always been writing content and you know, some of the things that I've learned based on some of the content that I've written. It's, you know, it helped me into giving answers to some of these questions. And the questions are questions that I wouldn't normally think of normally. So this, eventually I got the job. And this, this, this is, a, is actually a very big thing for me because looking back on it, I wondered what, what could have happened in, in the interview. You know, there are some skills that you don't learn in school while you are, you are an undergraduate. And the life out there is different. So I would just like to say that if you're a young graduate or even if you're an undergraduate and you're currently in school, maybe you're in your final year, I would like to, to say this, that after you complete your national youth service score, it is very important that you find something you are doing. Find a place you can be, even if it's, if it's as a volunteer, or even maybe the payment is not attractive, just make sure that the place is a place where you can develop yourself. And whatever you are doing, it's something that you can, you should be able to, you should be honest with yourself and try to see if it is really helping you or not. I am even very sure that if I, um, if I hadn't had this recent interview, some of the things that I've already learned, it has, it has already become part of me. And I know that sooner or later, I'll be able to apply um, some of the things that I've learned, I'll, I'll be able to apply it somewhere in life. So if you're a young graduate, find a place you, you can engage yourself. Try to engage yourself. Don't sit around and don't do something that is unproductive. Make sure that your learning doesn't stop after your graduation. Sit down, look for skills that are relevant in our age. Look for things that are valuable. Add to yourself. And if there is a particular sector you are looking towards to, to enter, just go online. The internet has made a lot of things easy nowadays. Look for uh, topics or, or, or themes or, or anything that is pertinent to the particular sector that you want to be and try to accumulate as much knowledge as possible because I have come to understand that it is uh, the random knowledge or the random knowledge that you have picked, the random lessons that you have picked in life. You know, you, 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 it's, it's amazing how so much they can help you. So make sure that you engage yourself, make sure that you are in a place where you are developing yourself and then you will thank yourself later. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Timothy, for that uh, very interesting testimonial of um, the impact of NWN in your life. And we are hoping that the community will produce more people with the kind of story that Timothy has. And this reminds you of an inter interesting story uh, which I'll share with us. The story of um, Napoleon Hill. Uh, he was commissioned by a man called Andrew Carnegie to write a book about success. And when the man called him, Andrew Carnegie at that point in time was about one of the richest men in the world. 
and in commissioning him to um, write a book about success, why do men succeed? Andrew Carnegie didn't actually offer him any payment for that. He just uh, told him to write the book and just took care of his travel expenses. And the reason why I'm sharing this story is because at the end of the day, I don't know how many of us have read the book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Uh, the book, you know, turned out to be a classic and a bestseller. And um, I think is the second most read book after the Bible. So um, sometimes that's how opportunities present themselves. And in writing about success, Napoleon Hill also became a very successful man at that. So that's how life is. Sometimes um, opportunities are disguised. And one of the things that Napoleon Hill said in that book, which I don't forget, is the fact that don't let anybody cheat you of the highest form of compensation that you are to get by not learning while you are earning. So it's very important because whatever it is that you learn, you will end up earning over time. And again, this is a word, a, a note of warning to Generation Xers and to Millennials. From his, an article I just read on NWN, it is said that um, Generation Xers and the Millennials are the generation with the highest number of um, degree holders. However, uh, in, para in a paradoxical way, uh, it's also observed that this is a generation that lack workplace skills. And I think that is quite troubling. And many times you don't learn these workplace skills at home, really, or at school. But opportunities, I mean communities like NWN um, and other um, volunteer opportunities that you would have in very informal ways are some of the ways that you learn these workplace skills. So I want to encourage each and every one of us, um, it's not enough to have your degree. Look for something to do, even if you are not being paid. Work with an organization, even if you are not being paid, because eventually um, you will learn workplace skills and this is really what employees are looking for. Right now we live in a knowledge economy and anything that, any knowledge they need, they can even get it from the internet. But there are certain things that they, they can't they can't um, get, and those are uh, attitudes, you know. So they, when recruiters are looking for people to recruit, they are looking for people with the right attitude, and they are also looking for people with soft skills like emotional intelligence. And um, it's very important that um, we take these things very seriously. So um, I still want to encourage and recommend to as many of us that can be part of this community. To be part of this community and don't just come and be passive be active because you never know what can happen god bless you